good morning good evening good afternoon wherever you are in the world I came out and walked this morning um, you might hear the guys out here cutting the grass I got my face mask on because my sinuses have been giving me some trouble but yesterday we did our first shadow class and I think it went successfully we'll have some clips uh, put on but the main thing about the shadow is embracing the past pain and hurt um, those past pains are generally a lot of what we cover up um, our families put skeletons in the closet and then those skeletons start rumbling trying to get out and open the door and we don't know what to do but the the biggest part of having a shadow and um, experiencing the issues behind it whatever it could be if you have experienced the shadow self talking to you about your past or even if the memories come up and you are um, um, living through those memories and other people are experiencing them with you and you don't know uh, a lot of times people keep things to their self where they've been hurt you know um, we've you know we've had people that are raped uh, traumatic abuse um, domestic abuse and those kind of things and what happens is that you keep it so long that it becomes a part of you the best thing to do is to immediately seek counseling and talk to someone about what has happened it you know it, it, it doesn't hurt you to talk to someone what hurts you is to keep that information in you because what happens then is you become a product of that situation you become the opinion of the violation and a lot of times what people don't realize is that predators have been preyed on uh, a rapist has been raped before you know and so what they're doing is uh, reacting the life that they live um, these lives go into our adult lives our married lives you know having children our children experience what we did and on an unconscious level we don't realize that um, it is our past that is living through us. Um, unconscious means that you actually are living, but you don't know what you're doing. And um, in order to, flies out here, in order to uh, get to the root of things, uh, you have to face it. It's like facing fears. Your shadow is the fear that you don't want to face. It's facing losses and um, facing um, people leaving your life that you don't want to but you can overcome it um, and, and you know a, another thing is is that that shadow can it, it doesn't even allow you to love yourself until you have dealt with it which means that a lot of our relationships have went to nothingness because we did not address our own past issues I've worked with um, clinical psychologists and a lot of them do not like to deal with past traumas. They want to deal with today and now. I can tell you from my own experience that I didn't get any peace with myself or begin to love myself until I faced things that I had been through in my childhood or um, in my adulthood where there was, um, I don't know, misuse or, you know, even a emotional abuse a lot of people look over it so today if you want to um, get to the root of things and uh, find the best part of you it's going to be facing your fears a lot of people don't know how to do it uh, you don't want to do it by yourself sometimes uh, you have support groups that you can be a part of we have support groups and I also have a shadow class coming up again on 729-2020, that's a Wednesday. Uh, it's at 1.30 Pacific, um, p.m. Pacific, and um, you can learn how to actually unmask yourself because that's what the shadow is. The shadow isn't just walking behind us, it is who we are. So, I mean, let it go ahead and um, face you and you face it off and deal with it so you can live a happier life and have healthy relationships. That's the biggest part of unhealthy relationships because 
people don't want to address what they see in their memories that's haunting them. Um, sometimes it's pride and arrogance for men that don't want to address these things, but men and women, you are kings and queens. You can have a healthier life when you address these emotional issues from the past. And someone will say, well, what is it going to do for me? It's going to release you from the torment. It's also going to release you from creating chaotic situations in your life. You may have blamed other people, but you got to take responsibility for your part of the situation and then the others come in. That's in work relationships and all. If you're a manipulator, if you're someone that are a control freak, you want to find out why you feel that way because insecurities are behind it, all right? So you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to be uh, recording quite a bit today because I had some people that want me to address religious um, issues like, man, religious spirits. And we ain't talking about spiritual um, spirits like Jesus talked about. We're talking about religious spirits that try to tell you the right way. That's control. It's witchcraft. Manipulation. And I don't mean telling you by opinion and just speaking. I mean telling you by saying you can't do that anymore. Our experiences are different. God has given us the way, the truth, and the light from within our own spirit and soul. You connect with Jesus, the Christ, the source, and you will find the way and the truth. All right? God bless you.